Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create navigation component with navigation drawer. So by default, you will notice using the latest version of Android Studio, when you create a navigation drawer, it comes by default with a navigation component. So we are going to learn how to add a custom flag name and even listen to click event. We are also going to add another item where when you click it, we are going to open a new activity. When doing it, we are going to learn the three key parts of the navigation component, that is navigation graph, nav host, and navigation controller, which manages navigation within the nav host. So let's get started. I'm going to start by creating a new project. I'm going to create a navigation draw activity. And I'm going to call it navigation component next. So loading project. So the project is configuring, scanning, indexing. It's now done. So let's learn our project and see what we have by default. Let me close the other applications. So install. Launching the project. So we have home. When I click gallery, so oh, it's not changing. So I need to change something here in my main activity. The include should come before the navigation view. So let's learn and see what we have. So when I click home, we have home. When I click gallery, we have gallery. When I click slideshow, we have slideshow. So I'm going to add a click listener. So I'll just come here in my main activity. And I'll have navigation controller dot add on destination listener new destination destination change listener and then I'm going to switch. So int ID is destination get ID. So I'm going to switch the ID. The first place I'm going to listen is al.id.navhome black. So when you click home, I'm going to toast. with a message home click and then I'm going to toast dot length long then I'm going to show I'm going to do the same for gallery And finally for slideshow. So let's learn up and see what we have. So home, home clicked because it's the first one, gallery, and then slideshow. Then you are going to add the custom menu. So I'm going to have a new menu. I'm going to call it custom. Now custom, the title, I'm going to have menu. Custom, and I'm going to have custom. 
back here we have menu custom i'm going to add it to the navigation just copy this one now custom let me create a frag a route so i'm going to create a route resource file i'm going to call it fragment custom and then i'm going to copy the text here and paste it here i'm going to say the id is text custom back to mobile navigation and i'm going to have flag made custom i'm going to create a fragment so i'm going to create a package let me call the package custom within the custom i'm going to create custom flagment and i'm going to extend flagment i'm going to override on create So I'm going to have my view load, which is equals to inflator dot inflate and dot layout dot fragment custom. Then I'm going to have parent as container for, and then I'm going to return root. So I'm going to have my text view. Custom text. Custom text is equal to loot dot find view by ID. All dot ID dot text custom. So see text. Dot set text. Custom plugin. back to my main activity now back to my mobile navigation and this one i'm going to say it's custom fragment variable menu custom in my main activity i'm going to add it so i have all.id.nav custom so that's all let's learn our app and see what we got Storing the application, launching, and we have custom. So we have custom fragment. We have slideshow fragment. So I'm going to add another menu item where we, when you click it, we are going to open a new activity. So I'm going to create a new activity, empty activity, activity two. Within the menu, I'm going to say Nav Activity The title should be Activity Menu activity. Back to my mobile navigation. Now activity. And then here I'm going to have activity two. Menu activity. And I'm going to have my. This is not a flagment. This is an activity. 
So I'm going to have my activity here, which is main. Main, active, main two activity and copy this one. So that's all. Let's line her up and see what we have. Oh, I didn't remember what to add it here. Let me add it here. All dot id dot activity now activity. So let's line her up. Installing the application, launching at same activity, we have navigation component. So let me make this activity a little bit more neat. So I'm going to have toolbar, match parent, lab content, background, I'm going to give it color primary. I'm going to have a text again. Lab, con lab content here, the width should match parent. And the text, I'm going to give activity. I'm going to center. And the color should be white. This one should be top, top of palette. So then I'm going to change the theme. And I'm going to have no action bar. So let's learn our activity and see. So when I create activity, I'm going to activity two. So as you can see from the main, the custom, the gallery, the home, and the slideshow, by default, we have the view model. So if you would like to work with view model, you can just come here and say, custom fragment view model. And within the view model, I'm going to extend view model. I will get my constructor here and then I'm going to have mutable live data which is a string and I'm going to have m text so m text is equals to new mutable live data and I'm going to give it a value custom activity. Then I'm going to return live data. We'll have live data here with a type of string, get text, and I'm going to return m text. So back to my main activity, I will have custom Fragment view model, custom fragment view model. So I'll have is view model providers dot of this dot get custom fragment view model dot class. Then I'm going to get the text. So dot get text dot observe get life cycle owner new observer and then I'm going to set my text to this string. So let's learn our activity one more and see what we have our app and see what we have. Installing. So when I tap custom, we have custom activity. 
if I change this text to custom flood and then I land their project let's see we have custom flag mid. So that's all guys. So thank you for watching. It's, you, you only need to have to add your item in the activity main drawer. Make sure you get it within the mobile navigation. Add it on your M or M up bar configuration, that is up bar configuration. Ensure that you add your menu item and finally create your custom or create your now the package that is going to handle the navigation that is fragment. So that's all guys. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, remember to subscribe for more tutorials.